Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces. So if you're a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Pisces, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it die. Don't try to pause the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. of pentacles okay and the emperor at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with an aries eight of swords someone is stuck on the idea of having a new beginning with you this is someone who has not managed to let go of you or move on from you move forward here There's guilt with this person here with the Eight of Swords. Overthinking as well. So look at that, the Eight of Swords. best way to approach you, the best way to get in your good graces again. For some of you, it's almost this energy of, you could be dealing with someone who there was maturity difference here and that's the reason why this person feels like whatever you are, uh, it's like it's you are asking for something pretty big from this person here you're asking for something pretty big this is not something small and this person is like it's very possible for some of you this person is nervous because they feel like they don't know if they can match up to what you are asking for what you are looking for they want to but can they do it that's what this person is doubting this person has a lot of self-doubts here watching everything they're waiting and watching everything but some of you this person could be watching you as well we have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck and the emperor again this is someone who's definitely planning and strategizing the emperor and the three of wands in reverse this is someone who's planning but some of you this person could be very focused on the plans of their own future here this person uh, could be trying to build a strong future, build stability here. Think of long term. For some of it's very possible this person feels very disconnected um, from you or they themselves feel very disconnected from their higher self. Take someone who don't know what they're doing that's the energy i'm getting from this person they think they know what they're doing or they're trying to do what they're supposed to do but this person is really very confused and lost and they don't know what they're doing here they could be trying to act on mature and like they don't they know like i know where i'm going i know what i'm manifesting i know what i'm doing but in re and i have plans for my future and everything and i'm going to manifest this and that but in reality this person is completely lost and they don't know what they're doing or are they doing the right thing here? Six 
to offer some of you it's very possible yeah two of pentacles and the judgment This person is trying to, you know, like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? That's the energy with the two of pentacles and judgment. What is the right thing to do? Am I doing the right thing here? they're stuck in limbo a part of them really wants a new beginning with you a part of them wants to start start fresh but whenever they think of approaching you whenever they think of doing something here this person feels like am i doing the right thing am i being too immature am, am i being uh, too is Pisces going to take me lightly i don't know what uh, am i doing the right thing someone tell me i'm doing the right thing here This person could be getting cold feet on the thought of like avoiding, sorry, avoiding, on the thought of approaching you. So it's very possible this person is avoiding you or they have been avoiding to make a decision here because two of pentacles talks about someone who is not yet has made a decision. So this person is trying to make a decision. They're trying to arrive to a conclusion, but it's like they're avoiding. It's very possible. We did see the Eight of Swords, right? And the Eight of Swords at the very beginning of the reading and the Eight of Swords is in the middle of the spread here. So it's very possible because this person is feeling a lot of guilty energy. They are feeling a lot of guilt here. They are sort of like, that's the reason they're ashamed to come forward here. They're, they are avoiding coming forward or they're ashamed of coming forward. for some of you you have a very strong boundaries with this person right now you could have blocked this person or you're energetically blocking the person blocking this person here that's why this person is so afraid to they are more ashamed they are afraid of to reach you out am i doing the right thing what's going to happen how is going how is spices going to react the spices remember everything I have said and done. Especially if this person has said something to you or they did something that they should really feel guilty about, then this person is like, they are constantly haunted by the fact that how much you remember. You know, like what, what will happen if whatever you, they said or did to you, you just hold this person accountable or you say that on their face. Like, remember how you said this to me? Remember how you did this? How will this person face you then? What will they see you then? There is defensiveness in this person's part with the seven of wands. When it comes to taking accountability, when it comes to knight of wands can talk about someone who's very immature, someone who's very hot and cold or someone, you know, knight of wands can also talk about player like energy. So it's this energy of they have done something here, but they are very defensive when it comes to taking accountability. They are very defensive when it comes to accepting what they have done here. They want long term now. Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles, they want long term now. But the reason they are holding back, the reason they are not making a decision, not doing anything or not approaching you and avoid, avoiding you is simply because they feel like somehow you will expect them to take accountability 
and they, they are not ready to take that or they, they don't know how to do that or it's not that they don't know how to do it do, do that they don't want to do that they don't want to take accountability in a way they don't want to face the truth or face you and it's a challenge for this person to it's almost next to impossible or it's a challenge for this person to have this another chance with you but at the same time bypass what they have done in the past avoid talking avoid accepting what they have done in the past this is someone who's literally trying to bypass what they have done and that's the reason the eight of swords and the hanged man they do have a lot of guilt they are ashamed but they don't want you to point that out to them i don't know for some of you this is what i got i think that's what it is like um you know like elephants are supposed to have very good memories i don't know why i got that suddenly like that's the kind of memory you have so you remember everything or at least you remember um what they have said or done so you're not gonna just let them let it slide you're not gonna let it slide you're gonna hold them accountable actually It's almost like this person wishes that you forget everything that has happened here. Sagittarius, Hierophant, Emperor, Star in Reverse. Could be dealing with Taurus, Sagittarius. Mm. That is a very spiritual card, right? Let's get some Nine of Wands. Ooh. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Star in reverse. Okay, I can't show that card. Yeah, you are not trying to, uh, you're not trying to chase them, you're not trying to, uh, you are not asking for this person to do anything here. You're just sitting and acting cool and calm. You have your boundaries, you know what this person has done, you are watching out for them. You, you are like, you are aware of this person, but at the same time, it's like you, this person feels like you are silently sitting and watching them watching what they're going to do next watching what they what decision they make you're not trying to uh, coax them to make a decision you're not trying to force them to pick you choose you that's not the energy here knight of swords in reverse you're not even trying to approach them question them ask them what's going on ask for any sort of clarity ask for any sort of like truth anything you're not asking for anything from this person it's like you're not demanding anything, you're not asking anything. And you not asking, you not chasing, you not demanding anything from this person is making this person feel a little intimidated by you. Because it's like uh, this person feels that you don't really need them. At least you don't need them anymore. Even if you felt like you needed them at one point, you don't need them. Not to mention with the Knight of Swords in reverse and a star in reverse, this person feels that for some of you, you don't really have high hopes from this person. That's the reason why you are not doing anything. That's the reason why you're not trying to talk to this person, ask anything from this person. You, you're not. You just don't have high hopes when it comes to this person. For some of you, you feel like this entire connection is a hopeless situation or this person themselves are like 
you shouldn't be keeping your expectations high or your hopes high when it comes to this person. You should try to be as neutral as possible. Now, some of you might think like trying to keep hopes high or expectations high is a waste of time or energy. You're much more balanced here. Temperance, Nine of Wands, you're much more balanced. And again, you have your cards up with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. It's like you both are defensive towards each other. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. You both are defensive towards each other. This person is acting defensive because they don't want to take accountability because they feel like you're going to hold them responsible for everything they have said and done and they don't want that. And you are defensive because you simply feel like this person, you don't trust this person or this is a hopeless situation or you shouldn't keep your hopes high when it comes to this person. So you're not approaching them and they are not approaching you as well. It's like this person is waiting for some sort of miracle where you just... Um, they get what they want without having to pay for it sort of a thing that's that's the energy i got i don't know why i got pay for it but that's the thing almost like this person um they want to get you they want to have you or they want to have you back without paying for the consequences of their actions in a way or without being hold, held responsible for what they have done They want a shortcut. They want an easy way out. Not to mention you're much more focused on your spirituality and being grounded and being balanced. You have just learned to be, for some of you, you have just learned to be happy all by yourself without needing anyone. That's the reason why you're behaving or feeling so neutral about this person. But some of you could have both blocked each other, you know. You both could have blocked each other. Ten of Swords. Ooh, look at that. Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Empress at the bottom of the deck, the Devil. Well, that's a deadly combination. The devil and the empress. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Libra. Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person's hot and cold, immature actions or uh, whatever. Difference in immaturity, being very whimsical, being someone who is not really honest with their intentions. This really just caused you a lot of pain. This person did betray you. Their, at least their actions or words betrayed you. It made you, it gave you a lot of pain here with the Ten of Swords. And here's the thing, the Empress or the Devil. The Empress is a very good energy. The Empress is the Divine Feminine, uh, it's the Divine Mother. It's a very nurturing and caring energy. And Devil is exactly someone in this particular combination the devil is someone who will take advantage of the empress's nurturing caring nature this is someone who tried to keep you hooked to them or tried to keep you stuck on them there was something very codependent or i don't know why i got the word unholy i was about to say unhealthy but that's the, that's the word i got unholy but i'm gonna say unhealthy there was something very unhealthy about this connection. Definitely very unhealthy. And for some of you, you do realize that. In hindsight, you do realize that. It's like, yeah, this person caused you pain, but the universe saved you from getting hurt anymore by this person if you were in this connection. The universe literally saved you from any further pain or disaster. You could be, you know, you could have been pouring your cup into someone who clearly doesn't, didn't deserve it. For some of you, you were mothering this person as well with the Empress because that's Divine Mother. So almost you were like mothering this person. 
mothering or fathering or whatever like you were nurturing this person here you were nurturing this connection you know this person took advantage of your kindness nurturing energy you are very well aware of it as a reason why you're so defensive when it comes to this person because you already know this person's game or this person's intentions in a way you know know it already you have already seen it I, I'm getting that energy of you're trying to not repeat the same mistakes. You're trying to not repeat that. You're trying your best to avoid repeating mistakes, repeating lessons here. here a lot of green heart chakra hmm. you might have uh, had some woundings you know like surrounding your heart chakra your heart But anyways, um, five of swords there. Yeah, Empress. The Empress knows her value. Nine of Cups, you know your value. You know what is going to make you feel fulfilled. You, you are respecting yourself. Because you respect yourself enough or you have learned to respect yourself enough, that's the reason why you're not approaching this person anymore. Not trying to make any amends. Just letting it be. If this person approaches, they do. But if they don't, then yeah, that, that's going to be it. It's almost like for some of you with the temperance and the five of swords, this person really has tested your patience. They have really tested your patience with, the, with their, um, whatever they were doing. They have tested it, your patience here. With the stupid games they have step tested your patience and you could have run out of patience for some of you when it comes to this person like this person pushed you to the edge like a breaking point Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five Five. Yeah, you. It's it's not like suddenly this person disappointed you once and suddenly you have your defenses up. You don't trust this person anymore. You have given this person chances, and this person has just kept testing your patience. They have kept testing your boundaries. They have just kept hurting you, wounding you, disappointing you. This has been. This is for some of you. This has been a cycle here that is repeated. That has been repeated multiple times here. You have just run out of it. You have, it's, it's just not patience. You have run out of your nurturing energy. You have run out of your giving energy. Like you have drained or exhausted yourself or this person or connection has drained and exhausted yourself. You can't take any more uh, of this person's um, games 
any more of disappointment, any more wounding, any more betrayal. You can't take it anymore. You have reached that limit. Five of swords, seven of swords, ten of swords. This person has really, really hurt you. Like multiple times. Ten of swords, seven of swords, three of swords in the mix. Could have been a third party situation. The third party could simply have been this person's defensiveness, their indecisiveness, or uh, with the knight of wands, their player like energy. Like you have given them chances, and every time this person has proved you wrong you trusted this person every time this person has broken your trust you put faith in this connection of person every time this person has broken your faith or trust so you have been hurt multiple times on so many levels here and it's like look at this energy why no one would want to be in this energy anymore no wonder you are so defensive towards this person you're blocking yourself from this person because this energy is not good at all and yeah, there is a fox here, a sly fox. For some of you, you know, it's like you knew what this person was doing, but you still, still, I don't know what's happening with my speech today, uh, but you still kept giving this person chances. You know what this person was doing, but you still, but still trying to be optimistic, still trying to keep, keep your faith and hope that this person, oh, this person is not all bad. Maybe it was an honest mistake. They're not all bad. They cannot be all bad. No wonder this person is guilty. They are ashamed and they are trying to avoid you. They don't want to take accountability because it's like, this is too much. I don't think you are in that energy of just forgiving just like that. You are going to hold this person accountable. You are done just forgiving them. And you know what? For some of you, this person is hoping that you will suddenly change your decision. You will about them. I don't know why you would, but you would. Suddenly, that's what they are hoping. But it's like wishful thinking on this person's part. suffering from loneliness from some of you for some of you lonely sad feeling miserable chariot feeling with a cancer and there's your energy with the high priestess could be dealing with another Pisces or a Cancer. Some of you, this person really is just. They're hoping things will finally eventually move. Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Chariot. This person is hoping things will eventually move in the direction they would want it to move. The like things are going to move in their favor. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person is very curious about you. I don't know, this particular deck, the page of swords looks gives me that very sly kind of energy again. They are hoping that finally there's going to be a breakthrough and things are going to move in the direction they wanted to move. I don't know why they think that, but that's it. Two of swords, high priestess, ace of cups. a new beginning with you they definitely want a new beginning with you ace of cups and chariot and they are really hoping that things will move where they want it to move but the truth is two of swords they don't see things moving the reality is things are not really moving the reality is like they will be the they will have to be the one who breaks the silence 
and of course this cup or of course this new beginning but that means they will also have to take accountability and they're not ready for that hence like I, they are just sitting there and hoping that you know like eventually you will just you know like someday you will feel very impatient and you will really really miss them and then you will re reach out someday you will just want to reconnect with them let the past go and reconnect i don't know what this person is trying to do but this person is hoping that you will tire you will run out of you will run out of patience when it comes to holding back from them you will run out of patience that's what this person is hoping working really hard on themselves nine of pentacles eight of pentacles and you are acting very very independent here that's the thing what this could could be triggering this person here that you are acting very independent it's almost like this person hasn't seen you be this independent before and be that this focused on your money and finances and the tangible aspects of life they have never seen you do that it's like uh, the Pisces, the dreamy uh, lover Pisces, that's what this person expects to see from you. But it's like a completely different energy from you. Yeah, see, King of Pentacles, you are really focused on your money situation here. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, you're really very focused on your money and stability and building and having your own legacy, building a future, manifesting those coins. That's where your focus is at. And this person, you are throwing this person off by being so focused on your career and finances. It's like, damn, I've never seen Pisces do that or be that. About you, what was at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, judgment, Knight of Cups. This person is trying to find the right time, right opportunity to approach you. To this person is hoping that you won't be able to hold them back, hold back from them long enough. This is what this person is hoping. Like they, they don't know how that is going to happen, or it's like. They're not even sure that's going to happen, but that's what they're hoping. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you won't be able to ignore them for long because you love them, you care about them. So you won't be able to avoid them for long. That's what this person is hoping. 33, 33 there. and we have the knight of cups queen of cups strength so some of you be very careful about this person trying to love bomb you suddenly coming out of nowhere and really trying to just love bomb you and get back to your good graces some of you this person as I said they are going to approach you and love bomb you but this person is like a, you, you I'm not getting good vibe from this person's actions and not to mention that five of swords seven of swords five of cups as to how you are perceiving this person and everything yeah this person will really try to love bomb you for some of you this person might try drunk calling you that's what I got with the nine of cups I mean considering he has those barrels and everything uh, in the background this person might try to drunk drunk call you for some of you or they might pretend that they are drunk that's what i'm also getting that they are high they are drunk and they're just you know just to see how you react or behave and if you react in a negative way this person will just 
be like, oh, did I? Did I say that? Did I do that? I don't remember. Maybe I was just high. That sort of a thing, yeah. Avoidance, yeah. No communication, feeling guilty. Yeah, see immature mind games. Just give me a, a second here. I need to open my door for my cat. Now she doesn't want to leave. Hmm, yeah, mind games. tried to keep you waiting and everything they really tried that always busy yeah it's like this person constantly came up with excuses as to why they're not talking to why they're not giving you attention you just were you just thought that this person was being really honest and they really were busy or something yeah push and pull There is a power struggle right now between the both of you because this person feels like they have lost power over you and you are not ready to give your power to this person anymore. So hence this tug of war between the both of you here. All right. Well, that's your reading, Pisces. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.